Christmas has come and gone. But answer me this. Is the holiday spirit truly over? Are your Christmas decorations still up? Are stores still having sales? And do you go out and buy all the stuff you should have gotten for Christmas anyway? So what's the harm in making one more eggnog related goodie anyway? Well, other to your waistline, that is. So let's get started. To construct our eggnog panica, we're gonna need, what else? Eggnog. Let's just pour three cups of pre-made eggnog into a measuring cup. Also, in a tiny little bowl, pour off some of the eggnog and add one and a half packets of unflavored gelatin. Mix it together. And let it bloom for 10 minutes. Now that in a small pot, pour the rest of our eggnog mixture in. Oh, and uh, don't toss the measuring cup into the sink. We're going to use this later. Bring this to a boil over high heat. Take our super hot eggnog and pour it back into the measuring cup. Add the eggnog and gelatin mixture back into our eggnog. Mix it so it dissolves nicely. All right, everything has dissolved and melted. Next, pour it into silicone molds. Put, transfer the mold onto something flat and sturdy like a cutting board or tray. Stash it away in the fridge. And leave it in there for a couple hours. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Finally, top it off with a little dusting of cinnamon. And there we have it folks, a lovely eggnog panna cotta. You know, as I look back on this great year of 2017, I... You know what, shut up and eat instead. This has been Jade's Cut and Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun, and meaning it this time.